Hey guys, this is Mega Man Dragonite playing Ace Attorney Ma Miles Edgeworth Interrogation. Who can I wait? Shira and Jashin. So if they wanted to do introduce themselves, you may go ahead. Hey guys. Hey. Woo. Nice follow. Hey everyone. Also, it's investigation, not interrogation. Yeah. Investigation <laughs> by Miles Edgeworth. Oops. No copyright or top Capcom, always reserved. <laughs> Indeed. So yeah. Uh, somebody remember what happened last time? There was been a murder in my in... office. And we found out that it was some. It was actually one of the uh, attorneys in the office that did it. Actually, prosecutors. Prosecutors. Sorry. Yeah. Because you have lawyers and you have prosecutors. Mm -hmm. So yeah, now we're going to do a different story, or story, episode, and let's see what happens this time. Always lot of the shit. I always forget. See how I can fix it. Oh, it's lowered, and somehow it's all bo boosting itself up. Chapter from the start. Out. How are you want to do? Daily Express. Weep weep. Two days earlier. <gasps> hey. Oh. As everything became again up high in the air, put your feet in a. Okay. Justin, it was not uh, the black hood, it was wine. Uh, March 12, 6.13 a.m. Flight of I-390, first floor lounge. Wait, airplanes has floors now? I guess if the, if the airplane is big enough, yeah. Apparently so. Huh, interesting. <sighs> I feel I just woke up from a horrible nightmare. Yes, there's blood. No, I think it's wine. The yeah, next to him was wine, but look at the elevator. Hmm. 6.30, huh? I guess I was out cold for about 10 minutes, huh? Light turbulence indeed. Wanna do? Me or Sierra? I'm asking you guys. Oh. Uh, I'm not touching and it's doing it on its own. Well, I guess we couldn't decide who was what. <laughs> I suppose turbulence is too expected on a flight. But well, maybe I have less. Less than comfortable with anything resembling earthquakes. Uh, what? This, a travel wallet? It's not mine. How did someone else's travel wallet wind up in my pocket? Oh, my head. How did this headache go away? Wait, is he you know, having amnesia? Someone threw something at him, and yeah, I imagine he lost his uh, memory. That would be not the first time that that happened. Hmm. Seems to happen a lot in, the, in these animes. <laughs> yeah. 
I'll take care of this traveler wallet later. Hand it over to the... Uh, from the Earth could like turbulence from to an elevator? What am I doing? What am I doing has thing like this? Yeah, I know full well why I was this thing. It was when I was a little bit but a young child. Okay, so no amnesia. Hey, memories of the past. Yes, yeah, so we both remember this one, don't we, bro? Yep. There wasn't that time there. It's in the case later. I was caught in a murder that happened in an elevator. How long am I going to let the past hunt me? Just an elevator. I'm a grown man now. I need to cave like one. What the? Well, that didn't, that didn't take long. Indeed. What in the world happened? Oh. Is there something wrong, sir? I must ask you to please return to your seat. Come down. We must not jump to collisions without all the facts. What's wrong? Did something happen? You murderer! What? No, you have it all wrong. It wasn't me. Here we go again. March 12, 6 1 a.m. Flight I 390. Second floor, first class. And I'm sorry to interrupt, but I have an important announcement. I'm one of two flight attendants today. Wait a minute. Roda Tenirio. Unfortunately, we have just had a minor accident in this flight. Minor incident? Seriously? <laughs> An accident? Don't treat us like we're stupid! I caught a glimpse and it was a murder! What? Murder? What's going on on this flight? Loud. Go ahead. Mm. Um, please calm down. There is no reason to panic. <sighs> this flight will stay on course. And make it seduce landing. Scheduled. Schedule landing. That particular guy has too much wine. We still are making much part of problems. What do you guys think? Is he drunk? Well, maybe he is. <laughs> 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 oh, we are the one to make it a joke. Until we're out of the area of, of turbulence, I will ask you to remain seated. But, but, but someone was killed, right? I mean, what about the killer? Let me off! D 
piggy! Wee, 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 wee! Wee, 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 wee. Let's go ahead. <laughs> I didn't want to see you by accident. There's no need to feel threatened. We have already a permit for the culprit. Oh damn. Why are we locked up? I ask that everyone please remain calm. What the heck is he talking about? Why should we remain calm? My name is Miles Everworth. I'm a prosecutor and I assure you I'm not the killer. Ha! Being a prosecutor doesn't make you incapable of murder, buddy. Now listen here, I'm not the killer, I simply found the body. Hey, I'll have her. I am sure that you are the persecutor of this crime. I swear my honor has a professional flight attendant. And suddenly you're being downgraded to rookie. Oh, is that right? Green star. Even very strong incriminating evidence to back me up. Kind of interesting evidence is she talking about? Destination. Why do I feel she's the killer? I don't think so. She was pretty damn surprised when they found the body. D by the powers, fastest than our captain. Situation, I'm more concerned about mine. The direction it's going in. I'm about to sit while I'm accused of murder. It's the arrow. It. Yes? I was wondering if you might uh, give me a chance. Chance to do what? Chance to plead my case. Chance to ask what you mean by immigration evidence just now. To accuse a pro passenger of such a grave crime without allowing him to Given proper defense, can the professional flight attendant inside of you really call this action righteous? You have a point. Well, I listen to you what you have to say. But be wary what you avail.
I'm afraid you only look even more suspicious if your explanation fails to satisfy. I also do not have the time to deal with you all day, so please make it quick. Of course, as you wish. Very good, well then, let's get started. I know for a fact that I didn't kill that man in the elevator. What I don't know is what the sort of evidence he was up her sleeve. So it doesn't fit how crime the occurred. Oh, a lot of dialogue for Shira. I swear to tell the whole truth as a professional flight attendant. Unfortunately for you, Mr. Edgeworth, I am certain you are the killer. The seat in front of the elevator. Was you standing there with fresh blood dripping off the murder weapon? So, if you would please cooperate, we will turn you just over soon as we land. Okay, bro. Got line. That's it. That's your evidence. I don't think you could ask for more perfect witness testimony. Do you agree, Mr. Edgeworth? Really, entirely perfect. There is a gap hole in it. Okay, bro. Okay, so. Um, you have to pres present that travel wallet that you found on the fourth statement. Three. No, fourth. Fourth statement. Yeah, but I count when I press. Okay. Objection, my dear Watson. Wait, Miss Sender. Sorry. Oh, oh, sudden. Oh, it's a habit. But it doesn't matter. Sender, say you saw the murder weapon. Plot, correct? All that blood. Drip, drip, drip. Just recalling the scene sent a chill down my spine. Sorry. But for your so-called professional flight attendant training, you have failed you. What? <laughs> that what? face immediately, like, ah! <laughs> Serious face, like, I suddenly... Girl face. 
I'd like to drag you to attention to this. You know what this is. A wallet, right? Did you see that eye twitch just then? I'm seeing it every time, even her mouth. <laughs> but it looks like a big and bulky. Thing you saw me holding was uh, I covered the dead body in the elevator. This very travel wallet, Mr. Nero. What? Impossible! Now then, do you still think I am the killer? And I killed him with a travel wallet? But... But... No! I... No, but I... It's our blood dripping from the wallet. I know I did. As you can see, this wallet has clearly stained. If you would be so kind as take with, you think you think your gari is only grape juice? <laughs> yeah, keep telling yourself that, mate. It's grape juice. <laughs> well, it can be really, really uh, irritating to see if it lands on a couch. It gets hardy out. That's right, you mistook grape juice for blood. Murder weapon dripping off the blood does not in fact exist. No? There, that should clear out the pesky... Uh, help? Accusation. Accusation. Oh great, he's responding. Wait a second. That. I mean, even a wallet could be deadly if it was wrapped around something heavy. <sighs> the man that showed me that inside, please. Trembling, the fact. Please, at the end, so, like I got her. I need to look inside. The you could tell from the appearance that it's light. I can't be sure of anything until I see the contents of the wallet for myself. It's a persistent one. I suppose we have a choice. See what's inside. Senor, if you be so kind, open the wallet and check the contents for me. Alright, I usually don't play into Pasiva's belongings, but I have no choice here. What was that? It sounded like she turned into a robot for a moment. <laughs> <laughs> First she said demanding the wallet inside, and now... What the hell? Seems that is this password is all that's in here. As you saw, there's nothing but a password inside. When is your wallet as a murder weapon human mode? You agree? Please hear me out, Mr. Ashwa. What is it now? Well, I was wondering, what password is it exactly? Can I take a look? Why not? I'm rather curious myself. <laughs> what? That's the victim! Yeah. Epe... Uh, Ak Akbi. Akbi Hickens. Akbi Hicks. Akbi Hicks. Akbi Hicks. Oh, probably has uh, to me. Hick! Uh, 
Republic of Virginia. Nice passport. Beautiful decoration. Wish I had one. Yeah. I wish you can do it with ID cards. That would be nice. Yeah, go ahead. Just as I thought. This travel wallet belonged to Mr. Ackby Hicks. Which makes the victim's property. Property. Okay. Mr. Hicks, what happened to you? You... you stole the victim's wallet. Didn't you? How dare you? You said yourself. You claimed to be holding this wallet in your hands when I found you. Perhaps I did misconstrue the wallet for the murder weapon. But it seems it wasn't wrong about the culprit. Yes. Are we battling? Round two. Fight! A bit too low. You claim the murder weapon is not a travel is not a travel wallet. However, it is something you stole from Mr. Hicks after you were done the vile deed. <sighs> I find it hard to believe myself, but your motive was very simple. You were out to steal Mr. Hicks' money, weren't you? Why should we steal his? So even though I have murder weapon on me, you still suspect me? Let's see. I get it. And it goes bloop bloop. You stood up at the crime scene with the victim's wallet in your hands. How can I turn a blind eye and not suspect you of foul play? Oh, go ahead, bro. Where do I press or percent? All right. So I'm just having a look. Um, okay. <laughs> so Sorry. the mur the murder was not because of money. So when you saw the guy in the lift. Um, were you able to take some crime scene notes? Uh, no. We're still locked up. Oh, look, uh, go back, go back. Press on the body. So, yeah, that's where it says crime scene notes. You gotta present that. You see on the, on the ground there's a bu bunch of money there. And his credit cards, and a statue, yep. which has blood stain on it. Yep, so, you want to present the crime scene notes at Statement 4. This is Statement 4, right? Yep. I wonder if I might get you a word in... ...in your own. What is it now? Ten year old, I wonder if you noticed the contradiction with your own testimony. What are you talking about? The simple impossible that the motive for his murder was momentarily theft. One glance at the crime scene, he should have told you that. Uh, well. Um, you gotta present the, the money that's on the floor. Yeah, no, I'm going over it and it's not triggering. You can't press anything on it. Oh, yeah, I can. I might. I, I didn't pay attention. Take that. May I direct your attention to the things that are strewn all over the floor? Ah! 
That's right, the floor is covered in bills and coinage. By your rationation, they were the very things that the killer was after. I think we can assume that the wallet fell during the victim struggle with the killer. And I would think the killer should notice something like money scattered everywhere. Furthermore, as you can see, there was no effort made to gather, gather the money. The, 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 the wallet! Ah, yes, the wallet. You will also recall that this is the only thing that it was. See, is the Higgs password. You are really insisting that it was the crime based on greed? Do you claim that it was all an empty travel wallet? I, 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 forgive me, please! Wow. Hey, what the heck? Are you saying the attendance wrong? So that guy isn't the killer? Ah! Don't believe it, everyone! It's a trick! No, no, it's a trap! <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, your chance. <sighs> Will you all please be quiet? This 10 year old. Yes. You lost your cool when you saw the dead body. Plus, the luggage was dark, looking at light from the elevator, it was easy to see how I mistook the wallet in my hand for the murder weapon. I take no offense that you thought that I was the killer. Mr. Edgeworth. Thank you for releasing me. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> what was that from uh south park <laughs> it looks like egyptian writing uh <gasps> oh look who is this okay what is i shall do this <laughs> oh it's a rich guy <laughs> If you could please tell me, it's, it's be much obliged. It sounds like born genius, but I I don't understand any of it. There is another attendant on this flight who said that he was giving the winner box. So. He can speak perfect English, but decides to speak <laughs> in Egyptian hieroglyphs, apparently. <laughs> so if we swear, we are just uh, doing like. <laughs> Uh, he's sorry, somebody had to use an emergency exit for my money. Boom! He said that he was giving you Brindabur. <sighs> oh, much better. <gasps> um? Oh, don't work hard in Pronto. I speak English just well, see? Yes, sir. I want this person to be held under the arrest. Oh, he's having his day. <sighs> I'm sorry, sir, but what exactly are you hoping for? What well, is what you want? I'm finished talking to the likes of you. 
Please, I would like to hear wh why you should, like, be held on arrest until we land. You! How dare you support the time? You were the one who's stuck your nose into my affairs. I wanted to spend even a less than one more second with my precious heart. Jason? Yes, sir. I have no time for all that things. I know what you are. I see to you. In something yes, I'm pretty sure that how you say it English. Well, I hope that I don't solve in water, but I don't think that what you meant. I'm sorry, but I don't think I got, got your name. I am Zinek LaBlanc II. I am a very wealthy man in the Bordelia. But I'm not an ordinary rich man. I am an art dealer. A rich seller of beauty. Sir LaBlanc. LaBlanc. What did you mean just now? Pardon? Um, when you said that Mr. Edgeworth was giving me the runabout. I have to it. I will say it at once, only once. I do not even have even a second to, to waste. This time is Money, essay thing. Yes, and yet you continue blattering on. I saw. Yes, I did. I saw the victim go into the elevator. Going down to the dungeon. But it was exactly at 6 o'clock. Hmm. And. Um... What's the sign runs out of the time? Six, he says. Wait, you saw him at six? Oh my god. What's the matter, Mr. Edgeworth? He understands, I see. And now he's watching his watch. Mr. Thunder, what time do you discover? What time did you discover the body? Well, it was a little after that patch of turbulence, so I would say around 6.14. Ah! Hicks was his name, was it? Then I say that the man Hicks was killed in 15 minute time span. And the only person that launched at the time was his prosecutor. Yes. Look what he do. Yeah, like making finger <laughs> guns. Bro. <laughs> 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 uh. Yeah, I, I was in my seat the whole time. Me too. I was watching the movie and enjoying a fine glass of grape juice. <laughs> Sorry, I had too much wine. Oh, 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 you're actually doing a German voice <laughs> from, <laughs> from that fat guy. <laughs> kind of funny. <laughs> I didn't intend it that way, but okay. <laughs> Passengers have an alibi, so you have no problem with them, I suppose. No complaint. I see not a single word against this, right? Watch how I use my finger gun. <laughs> oh, he's waving his finger towards you. I have no way of discounting what you said. You have put forth at this point. It wasn't me. Oh, so you say, but you have. What did you say? The evidence? Mr. Edgeworth, are you really too culprit after all? Slumbuck, I suppose you are certain in what you saw. 
enough enough to give the pony? Of course, I was looking at the man the whole time. He was playing with that annoying little um small machine the whole time. Machine? Mm -hmm. Yes, that's what you people call in English. Yes? It was making a queasy with the click, click, click. The description it sounds like some sort of small computer. I believe that Mr. LeBlanc is talking about its cell phone. I have to say that he's seen, he's seen playing with it quite a bit by stuff. Simple cell phone. Laptop and I can see, I can see, but kind of a low budget. I hate that noisy little machine in his hand. Not a fragment of beauty. All it produces is ugly sound. Anyway, I know what I saw. Miss Senior. Yes? I was wondering if I might be able to grant permission to examine the crime scene. What? You want to examine the crime scene? If you grant me a little of mature time, I'm sure I can produce the real culprit. Hmm. I don't like the sound of that fox in the duck pun. Yes, I think it's how you say it in English. It's fox guarding in the hen house. I believe my innocent was proven earlier. And if I'm given the chance, I clear up all the remaining doubts. But La, is it not that La Blanc is after this? Sure. Senor, because well, he said he said he's an art dealer. Yeah. And perhaps our victim has some precious um, artifact that he wants. You mean this? Um. Perhaps. Yeah, possibly. Yeah, possibly. I have the same feeling. <clears throat> I also have a theory. I haven't actually seen what the answer is yet, so this is legit a theory. He, this guy, this LeBlanc character, he and the victim both came from the same country. So maybe it was some kind of rival thing. He killed that the can... guy <clears throat> as, you know, to get rid of the competition. That can be possible, yeah. Possible, <clears throat> possible, possible. Miss Daniel, if you wait until we arrive, there's a good chance that the evidence has been destroyed by them. I understand. Let me see what the captain has to say. Ha! Huh, this should not be approved. Please, Mr. Lamlang, even emergency all decisions are to be made by the captain alone. Now, please wait here while I go ask the captain what to do. I'll be right back. You are planning to abuse evidence when you are doing your investigation, yes? Of course not. Ha! We will see. Mr. Edgeworth, you have the captain's permission to investigate the crime scene. What? what? Unbelievable! <laughs> Sorry, I'm not gonna have it. And you're dead, Mr. Neil. However, there is only one condition. I am su supervise you. Can you agree to that? Of course. I see no problem with the that's uh help tip pollution stip 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 you lation stipulation stipulation if it's all in nature as i still uh, am suspect in this case uh, i'll take full responsibility and will watch mr edgeworth every move I hope this is a reasonable enough that that there will be no foul play. Now that Mr. Atchworth, shall we proceed? 
If you should need my help with anything, please feel free to touch the partner button. Time to head to the crime scene of the crime. First for a lunch. Uh, what? Excuse me, excuse me, but I may have to worry you. You there! Oh. oh. If you need something, please ask Miss Rhonda over there, okay? What the? Hey, wake up, you! I'm terribly sorry, but she's being so rude, Mr. Edgeworth. No need for you to apologize. I just find it hard to believe she's asleep on job. If I were her boss, I will see if they see salary was cut. Although that she was in the red. That's her reason. Not sure by herself. <laughs> That's literally me standing there. Uh, boing. It's a movie poster for License to Love, Laugh, Mile, and Murder. That's a That's an I Fly Airline sponsored movie. It's a suspend hard boiling action romantic horror community movie. Is that general listed for this movie? Yes. It's a movie that can be enjoyed by anyone because the encompasses all those journeys. Journeys. I can't even begin to imagine how the plot of this movie will be like. But you have to admit it was procured your curiosity, right? I hear the main strategy with this journey lesson to make the po people curious. Well, then consider the mission a successful one. So you want to head to the left? The oh, left. I like to move it, move it. March 12. Oh. March 12, 7:26 a.m. Flight I-390, first floor lounge. I want to thank you for help for your help back there, Miss Tenura. Then you should thank the captain for granting your permission. And just so everything is perfectly clear. I still don't trust you to the extent. I don't want you to think your standing with me has changed. I see. I bear that in mind. I received an order from the captain earlier. He wanted to know to know that we reserve the right to stop your investigation if we feel you're not making progress. And when we are due, he asked to you to please return to your seat at that time. My time runs out as his crew description does it. Well, I have to find a way to this Credit the most certain money before the time is up. I understand. By the way, is there any place you think where the kill might be on board? So, I don't think so. After every first class passenger was accounted for at his or her seat, we made it to a worth the search for the plane. As for business and economic class, no one can move between those two classes in the first class without a staff keycard. And we found no record of the keycard being used at all means that I have the first gas killer on my case. At least I know that much for sure. The other thing. The one that almost seems to be a lot near the crime scene. Murder did, was discovered either. Oh now then, let's get started. But where do we start from? Hmm, let's start with Lumbach's testament. Crime occurred between 6 a.m. and 6.15 a.m. 
the role the only person in the lunch was more myself to make me the prime suspect however since i did not kill mr is there so the killer was around here somewhere if we are to believe what you say is true then yes hmm. First order of business will be getting information to win your trust. So you gotta examine the elevator now. Shut us. We don't have permission to open them, so I'm afraid I must leave them closed. There must be still be clues to be found here in this bunch. Must remain vigilant. What for is not this elevator serve? Now to it can also go down to the cargo hold. However, that requires a flight crew key card. So the only force accessible to passengers are the first one and the second. Huh. I won't rest until I inspect every suspicious looking knock and cranny. What is this? A sinister looking figure on the floor here? Oh, that's a piggy bank of our company mascot, Mr. If flying. It's just one of the many pieces of mer merchandise we <clears throat> sell at our fly in our flight shop. This bank is a limited edition, and it's so popular that we're down to our last one. You have an inside flight shop? Yes! Just behind the lounge to the right. The shadow to the star is close at the moment. Luna was over your whole flight until Mr. Hicks' body was discovered. There's blood on here. Could this be the murder weapon? Money is thrown all over the floor of the elevator. I would guess it's all in Hicks, Mr. Hicks' wallet at some point. And what? I wonder what was hanging off at this line yard. Something missing from the picture. Now, I, if I could just put my finger on it. Without anyone was expecting to find a dead body in the elevator of this flight. Sir Hicks, he's really dead? Yes. She's trembling, although I can't fault her for when the corpse is right here. Mr. Hicks, if you're really dead, then please answer yes. Why not get a ghost meter? <laughs> he will say, Yes, I am. I am just smacked by the hat. You must find a murder, please. <laughs> You're like that one of the psychocatic or whatever they were. You know what I mean, bro? Psychotic? Yeah. Ghost investigator, at your service, please. <laughs> I see, see, it's all over the tremble now. Although, a new simply should be appeared. Anyways, I should focus on the victim's body. Let's see. There's blood on the back of it. Mr. Hicks' head. Should be the cause of death? He appears to be have struck very hard. Even his glasses are broken. More, bro? Because I can't find anything else. Well, did you check out that yellow thing on his neck? Yeah, I did. 
And there was nothing triggering by it, so as you see. See? Uh, hang on a sec. Um, so apparently there's paper in his pocket. Hey, good notice. I didn't see that for a moment. Hmm, there's something sticking out of his pocket. Hope he won't mind if I take a look at what's inside. Hmm, a picture? It looked like it was taken inside a building somewhere. Okay, what now, bro? Alright, so, uh, photo of Higgs is added to the organizer, deduce the lanyard, the, okay, so you have to deduce the, uh, um, deduce what? The... So you present, you deduce the yellow thing and connect it to the uh, photo of Mr. Higgs. Okay. Mr. Higgs' machine is nowhere to be found. His machine. Hmm. Um, his cell phone, Miss Taniro. Ah, so I guess because it's not here. Yes, I think we can safely deduce that the killer took it. Okay. What now, bro? Examine the spilled grape juice near the statue. I can't go down. Pretty a bronze statue. No oh, good drink has been spilled at his feet. Statue of our founder, Mr. Yuju Afly, who was a big fan of grape juice. I'm sure you will be thrilled if you know how much grape juice was here at this feat. Is that a hint of hero worshipping I detect? There's some spilled grape juice in front of the elevator. I assume it was spilled during the turbulence. Footprints. Yeah. Exactly. Footprints. Somebody's messing up. The killer. Yep, yeah, you have a line. Yeah. He dragged the body or something. Oh. We must clean that up or someone might get hurt. Oh. What is it, Mr. Edgewa? I found some very important evidence. What's the important evidence of the crime scene? Am I right, bro? Mm. Am I right? Yes, you're right. Take that. What is it? What is it? My dear sweet girls of Watson, that's called footprints. I know, I'm just saying it as in character. They are a little sm smudge. But I think we can call bo we can both agree they are a set of footprints. That's actually not nice that you say that. So you think 
I know it's not nice, but I was just trying to be in character, basically. <laughs> yeah, but it's rude to us or it's a female. True. That's there definitely. was, there was a uh, Sherlock Holmes TV series where Watson was played by a female. What? Not joking. It was, it was a huge thing here in Australia, if I remember. So you think? My hat is going blip blop. <sighs> Sorry. Yes. What? Cannot be a female not being a private investigator. Sure. I'm just like very surprised. Surprised. Yeah, I am. Yes, they, these belong to our killer. Oh, then maybe we should check the shoe size of everyone in first class. I don't think that will be for of any help to us. Fortunately, the prints are too smug, which makes it hard to get a death match. Oh, I see. The but... flight job, la 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 la. So now you have to go into logic mode? Logic mode activated. Ooh, a lot of options. Okay, so you had to connect uh, where was the killer and elevator. Oh, they were next to each other. Okay, there wasn't anyone else in the lounge other than myself, right? Turbulence, but if the killer were in the elevator along with the victim, it would be a different story. Okay. Okay, so... Uh, next, you combine the blunt force trauma and the murder weapon. Got it. The statue with blood is lying next to the, to the body of the man who was beaten to death. Oh, Mr. Edgeworth, I think I figured something out. Yes, what is it? The way the blood is on this, it looks like it matches up with the wound on his head. I'm not going to even to say that line. Somebody else want to? Okay. Well, aren't uh, we deserving of the mass of the obvious title? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Isn't that oh, up? Dear. Jesus. <laughs> well, what do you think, Mr. Edgeworth? Don't you think it's a worth investigation? Well, it would appear that the figure is our murder weapon. Oh, I knew it. I mean, I can't think of an any other connection. Mm. Perhaps mess off the obvious. Oh, but mess off the obvious would be more befitting. <laughs> oh. I'm not even being rude, it's not the game being rude. Oh god, it's like an old married couple. Yeah, it sure is. And even the girl's like, must I deal with this boy? <laughs> Boy, it's a young male. Yeah. It's a male, not a boy anymore. True, true. Uh, okay, next one, bro. Alright, so... Um, you combine in the elevator with the spilled grape juice. I had a feeling. I have it! Sorry, but I don't understand, Mr. Edgeworth. I can prove that someone other than myself was here around the time of the murder. What? W really? Yes, it's very simple, actually. 
The proof is in the pudding, or rather, the grape juice in this case. Food periods are here to confess me to this very fact. Someone excited the elevator alive. Exit the elevator alive. Oh, pardon me then. Seeing as much the victim is dead, the person mean a second person. But could it be the footprints be for Mr. Hicks himself? Ah, but if you take a look at the victim's shoes, you can see, see that the soles are spotless. Which means he isn't. He wasn't alone. Mr. Higgs wa wasn't alone in the elevator. In fact, it was. It's quite the opposite. Opposite. Was, thank you. There was actually another. One other person inside the elevator. Another one, bro. Oh, never mind. Investigation complete. What's going on over there? Oh. We have him back again! Mr. Winback! <laughs> well, at least for our Mr. Winback. <laughs> unforgivable! This is unforgivable! Huh? Do you understand where I'm saying? The movie is lit. It is the same level of bad as the plane I played. lit. Huh? But the movie? What? I will not talk to you anymore. You're just wasting my time. What's the matter, Mr. LeBlanc? If there is no emergency, please return to your seat, sir. Do not tell me what to do. I need to... St no, not to need to sit down. Well, Mr. Persecutor, do you prove you are innocent yet? Stop doing with that finger! Yeah, I get it with the finger, like... If you like, I can prove my innocence to you right now. But uh, nonsense! Are you saying my eyewitness testimony is mistaken? The miss is mistaken. Merely that there is a room for that. I'm mostly on it if you could please tell me what you saw in detail once more. Fine, suit yourself! <laughs> That was a good one. I'm certain I saw Mr. Hicks enter the elevator. It was one that needed on my pocket watch point that at the 6th around the 12th. The body was discovered 50 minutes after that in the launch, yes? Then you're the only person who I announced at the time. Most of them be their criminal. Though a conclusion seems to be making logic sense. After all, the only person in the lines most of the time of the murder was me. So, my eyewitness just away. If you think you can destroy it, then come let me see. Howdy! Do I look like a man who is having the time to wait for you? Why is he so... Why is he so in... Irritated. I'm the one accused of the murder here. Anyways, I must find a way to discredit Ms. LeBlanc's account somehow and fast. What's it better than a shotgun? <laughs> it's a hubbala 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 hubbala. Okay, bro. Tell me what I have to do. Alright, so you have to press on the first statement. First, Ms. LeBlanc, you were able to get a good look at the at the inside of the elevator at that time. 
Of course, I saw what I what I was inside. Oh. Are you sh sure the victim was in the elevator alone? Yes, I'm only a person inside was Mr. Hicksman. Last outburst is a bit too important to let go. Um. Yes, bro? Alright, uh, so... Um... So you present the grape juice footprints on the statement where he says the only person inside was the Mr. Hicks man. <laughs> it's a little black. What is it? There's a very... <laughs> There's a very glaring contradiction in your testimony. <laughs> what is it? It's a him? Boy. My boy. What do you mean? Please take a look at the area in front of the elevator. Footprints! There's a sp spilled grape juice. Yes, and will you admit you also spilled it with the blood? No, it spilled itself during the turbulence. But there's an insert thing here is the set of grape juice footprints. F -f footprints? Yes, the ones that lead from the in the elevator out into the launch itself. The evidence that proves that someone other than Mr. Hicks exited the elevator alive. Oof. We got you Oof. now. There must be some other person in the, the elevator with Hick, Mr. Hicks. Now then, I'm done playing games. Why don't you tell us the truth? <laughs> Can you please translate for us? Oh, hello there! Too much revealing! Zip it up! Um... Zip. No way, that's totally impossible. I guess it's what he said. No way, that's totally impossible. I know there was no other person in there. I saw with my own eyes. Is that normal for her eyes to be like that? It looks like she's in some kind of trance. No, she she's is. She's sleepy. Sleepy. Yeah, she's just sleepy. I hope so. <laughs> If you want to know what I think, Mr. Atchworth, I don't think Mr. LaBlanc is lying to us. I suppose he's right. He doesn't seem to be lying. Then what does it, does it mean about this contradiction? Mr. LaBlanc? He's a very good liar. Please, just once more, will you recall the details of what you witnessed for me? And I'm so sweaty, I'm sweating my hands off. <laughs> I will sweat until I lose fat. <laughs> Sorry, very skinny. I'm become a skinny jeet. I was very upset when Mr. Hicks passed by my seat. I was always checking the time over and over again. Are you sure about that? I happened to fall out when my eyes when he passed me. And then he's getting upset, so he has to do something with Mr. Hicks. Yeah. Then I saw clearly into the elevator he was entering. But I swear there was no one else inside. No one! There is. Mr. LeBlanc, if you would please calm down. But! Dare to have an issue with my eyewitness testimony? Ah, uh, no, not at all. Please forget what I said. Everything, anything. But again, he doesn't appear to be lying. I can't tell that this testimony stands as the truth. He's a liar. He's a liar. He's sweating. He's fat all. Okay, bro. Got right, time. So, on statement two. Uh, you want to press 
Press on the second statement. Got it. Why were you so... Uh, help? Why were you so attentive, attentive to the time? Attentive. Because, because something unforgiven ill was happening. Hmm, come to think of it, you were yelling about something unforgivable earlier. I was giving a complaint to the attendant about the movie started gear time. But don't back to me, uh, my time and money. You understand that point? Time is money! We easily talking about the in flight of that original magazine. Summary of the plot and starting time. Interesting. Ah, between six and eight is a movie in the plane, of course. That's why. You want yeah. to see the movie? <laughs> they were supposed to show license to love, love, made and murder. Go ahead. I cannot see the movie in my country. You can only see it in, in national flights. I looked forward greatly to that movie. I checked my pocket watch whenever possible. I would not miss it. I even set my pocket watch to the destination time when I came on board. So my watch is not wrong. It matched the seduce. But the movie was still late. Very, very late. There you have it. He's angry about the movie. He could not watch. Your pocket watch? I'd like to ask you a little more about it, if that's alright. Okay, bro? Alright, so... You want to present the magazine on the second of the new statements. So this is the new statement. Objection. So look, your testimony just contradicts this piece of evidence. Yes, from the old word. <laughs> oh, you, you are correct, but what, what does that mean have to do with our present situation present situation the word pre comprised of the parts again sense Beep. i dare say i don't deal in such double dark way art dealings are clean it's all good and uh, well all and good, and, good good but how about this piece of air there is no val in that. I'm not interested in burying that from you. Ugh, there's plenty of value in it, it even for a superficial. Yeah, I'm in a boo boo. Huh. Bro. Okay, um. I went. I did this. I presented the magazine, but. On the new. On one of the new. Um. So when he says, my watch is set to my destination's time. Okay, that's the one. Objection. There we go. Hmm. I really it's a unblock. Use... Sorry? What is it, Justin? I really shouldn't be out this late, guys. I do have to go to work tomorrow morning. We're gonna finish it, or at least as quick as possible. Uh, Mr. Lovak, you said this just now in your testimony. I even set my pocket watch to the destination time when I came aboard. Now, if your watch has been set on your destination time zone, it will mean that your watch is displayed on the time of our destination. Yes, and I'm correct. Time is a word. Is the word sense six sense. I would look like you to take a look at this.
If you believe this Sky magazine, clocks on the flight are unsecured with the time zone on our departed time zones. Of course, the movie schedule was also created with that that in mind. Mysterio, what's for firm just sake? What time zone is this flight assigned to right now? I'll be made a short stop at the transfer point. That's right, it was that small Asian country. The Republic of Xingfa. Xingfa. But we didn't readjust core on board. How long such a time? So right now, we are still running on the Borgirian time. But! The time zone difference between Borgirian and our destination is 9 hours. In that case, it's only natural that your watch should be out of sync with the schedule. Further, we are... Agnol watch set to our destination time. It should appear to be running three hours faster than compared to the flight on board clocks. It also changes everything about your testimony. You can and you can bet one million cents on that. The light of information means you saw the Higgs three hours period at 3 a.m. Whoa! What was that? It was like air in uh, the plane. He got blown away by Miss Atchworth Hurricane. <laughs> <laughs> Literally blown away. I was going blown Super Saiyan! By Miss Atchworth Hurricane. I was going yeah, Super right. Saiyan! <laughs> no, it was blo blown away by Mr. Edgeworth Hurricane. <laughs> I know. Rhyme. I was just joking. <laughs> it was rhyming! This should clear up all things on rainy excavations. Oh, that's basically when this up time frame for the time of death, right? Yes, because Ms. Lobak saw the victim entering the elevator at 3 a.m. It means that the time of the death should be anywhere from 3 to 6... 15 a.m. The question is, where was Mr. Hicks during the spawn of time? And what was he was doing? I've got something to say. You are? Uh, yeah, um, uh, oh, I'm Camille and Lee, I'm a flight attendant. I don't like that smile of hers. Possessed, perhaps. And what is it what you wish to say? Well, I think the story is a little different from how I remember it. What do you mean, Cammy? I saw Mr. Hicks sitting in his seat at 5 a.m., you know. What? How can you be so sure of the time? Oh, that's right. He pushed his call button while we were parked in the transfer point. Alright, the stuff we made for the review and cargo transfers too far, correct? I will be making a brief stop viewing review and Thank transfer you. cargo. Pick up fuel and transfer cargo in the public of Sheng, far between 4 and 5 a.m. We ask that our passengers remain on board at time. Thank you for our cooperation. Yes, it was 4 to 5 a.m. according to our clocks. During that time, did any of the passengers leave or did any new ones for this flight? No. Not a single person got off or on the Shangfa. What about the flight crew? The 
you who are handing the cargo transfer might have temporarily gotten on or off. But eventually everyone, including Kami and myself, came back on the plane. Basically, I can assume no one left or got on since our the takeoff. Yes, and you should keep that in mind. Yeah, and I answer this call. I can tell you Mr. Eggby Hicks was there in the seat when we took off at 5 a.m. Miss Millie says money has been added. Alright, that then the pulls the time of the murder between 5 and 6.15 Okay, now what time did you come down to the lunch, Mr. Edgeworth? Um, I remember coming down here almost as soon as we left the Lake of Sing Fai. Ah! Oh, you were here the whole time at five, yes? Then you are the only one who could be the killer. Where do you really hear there's a large entire from from five am on what? Originally, yes. But then how do we explain the footprints? Isn't it obviously? This man waited for Mr. Hicks here to this lunch, waited to kill him. And then he put the corpse into the elevator. That is when the turbulence happened. My eyewitness testimony may have been mistaken. But, but I must have Mr. Higgs under the elevator on the second floor does not matter. Because the entire entry and include here was his lord. Everything happened to lunch. Is that what you really believe, Miss Lombok? Do you have the idea? I simply feel that there is something out of place in the scenario presented. Uh, oh great, I cannot go to the pause! Uh, bro? Hey, Nancy. Alright, so... Other than this lounge, um... So you can't connect the footprints? Oh, hang on, just a sec. Just gotta make sure that's correct. Present the grapefruit juice footprints. These footprints, in which direction do you think they are here heading? In the fight shop. Correct, they are heading in the direction of the shop. But they look disconnected, the end of all Satan. You are, are right to point out that they were not from one as they traveled to the shop. However, there is another piece of evidence that connects the, scene, the shop our crime scene. Okay, what's next, right, bro? It's for the little piggy bank. Little piggy bank. Murder weapon. This little piggy bank is sold in at the in-flight shop. It is sold there. The all there, not this place here in the launch. How then do you find it? Did it find its way here? You find it a bit, a teeny bit, a bit suspicious. Can I paused here. Yeah, it's crap. Point. It only means you prepared it, taking it from shop first before coming here. It doesn't prove you are innocent at all. Uh, is there no way to win this guy, man? It may. What is it? It's a rainbow. Um, you see, 
Well, it's just that Mr. Andrew says. Oh, do you know this so well? Well, it's just that the piggy bank was there in the shop. I saw it with my own eyes. When was this? <clears throat> it was maybe around 5.40 a.m. Isn't that just before we hit that patch of turbulence? That's right. You had a shop just before the turbulence? Um, yes, I was. Think of it. Senor, when I found the body, I believe you came out of that door. Yes, I did. What's behind that door? There's a flight attendant's room. D -d then you were on the you were on the first floor. Y yes, I I had to do something at the shop and the flight attendant's room. So I went to the shop first and then to the flight attendant's room. You're saying you passed by me at some point? Y yes, you seemed really into the issue of Sky Magazine you were reading at the time. I don't suppose you know that it's me walking by. I'm afraid I recall some of five, but I didn't take notice of any who it was. Anyway, the piggy bank was definitely there at the shop when I went there. Why did you go to the shop in the first place? I went there for a work related matter. Work, you say? Yes, an upkeep of the shop that also one of my responsibilities. Why do you never say anything about it till now? It was I want to know. <sighs> In any case, I believe it's clear that the shop needs to be investigated as well. So I head over there then. What is it now? Aren't you forgetting something, Miss Rhonda? Don't you need the captain's permission to check the shop? No, I haven't forgotten. But I already asked him for permission to search the entire plane. So I think we are right. Ah, that's weird. What is it? Well, they're just talking to the captain, see? And he said that he didn't give you permission to do anything like that at all. What's the meaning of this, Miss Tenniro? I mean, she's lying. Go on, admit that you are. You said you had permission to search all over, but you could don't, and yet, here you are. Your flight attendant, what are you trying to do? Put the sheep over us? The captain's calling for you, Miss Rhonda. So she was lying. Oh, but don't worry. I already got permission to search this up from the captain. Seeing like you, I do things the right way. Sayo, so why should you do such a thing? Please, excuse me. Looks like I got to be in a charge now. Please go back to your seat, Mr. LaBlanc. Now then, Mr. Edgeworth. If you would follow me, I will be your guide from now on. I don't something. like that smile. Yeah, me neither. Something about Miss Daniel has been beneath my custody. Now investigating the flight shop is my top priority. I... Where can I... There we go. Save time! Well guys, this is the... Con 
liked it so far for this week. If you like the content so far, feel free to leave a follow, a subscribe, a comment below. You can also go to Twitch.tv slash Mega Man Dragon while I'll be streaming. You can also go to TV.com slash Mega Man Dragon while I'll be putting my heart down. And if you want to go to Justin's or Shiraz, go ahead. Going to see what I had joke on DP Nod and Princess Siwa on YouTube. There you go. And my one is just Patty's Man on YouTube, just Patty's Minor on Twitch, and Dr. Chester the First on Deviant Art. And there you go. So have a nice day, have a nice week, and we see you next time, everybody. Peace! Peace.